Right, we're just going to have a look at inserting a formula into um, Writer. I'm using LibreOffice Writer and the math uh, program. This will be the same in Word and Equation Editor. So I'm going to insert object formula. This will give us our formula editor. Uh, <coughs> let's say, for instance, we just want to insert a simple division. Uh, these tags here where it's already blacked out, just start typing straight over that. So for instance I could do 23 and then select the bottom one divided by 45 whatever that's all well and good let's say I want the top one though to be a to the power 23 to the power 2 let's say from this drop down I'll choose a function this gives me more options now so I'll select this function one I'm just going to delete the 23 as I don't I don't need that anymore you can see that I can click here and edit it or edit straight into the code at the bottom. I'll do 23 and then I'll click the to the power 2. So I've got 23 squared over 45. Now I've just clicked onto that. Um, we're back in uh, LibreOffice and that's the equation finished. Let's have something more complex. So just double click that. We'll get back into our editor. Let's say we want to add on. I'll just press add here. Uh, a square root. In fact, no, we'll do a cube root. So I'll do um, a cube root of, uh, it's easier to click the box rather than select the text, I find, 245. That's fair enough, that's all well and good. Let's say, for instance, then this front bit, we want to put it in a, a large bracket on its own. W whether we need to or not, that's another thing. Let's just uh, get used to the software. So let's just select all of that. I'm going to do Control X to cut it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into here and choose my brackets options. And if you just hover over these, I'm going to have these rounded brackets that are scalable. Um, I'll click that. Where this is highlighted, I'm just going to control V and paste what I had before. And you'll see that that's now been put in large brackets. Let's say for one, in, one example, then we want to square the answer that all of that is. I'll select all of that. Cut it again. Scalable, oh, that's one over the other scalable bracket. Oh, no, it's not, that's just the brackets tool. It's showing you that if you went, uh, if you did something over something, the brackets would uh, stretch, they'd get larger. Where that's selected, I'm just going to paste in what I had before, and that's put brackets around everything. Let's say, for instance, though, we don't want that, we want uh, we want to scale, we want to square all this at the end. Let's just uh, undo all that. Oops, sorry. I'll keep going through my undo cycles I want. Let's get short of that. I'll paste back in what I had. Um, with this one, we'll select all that, cut it. That's why I'm, I'm rushing. <laughs> um, I'll do to the power, paste all that in. And then let's not do that. Let's do the brackets one first. Oops. Scalable brackets. Paste all that in. Select all of that. Cut it. <laughs> and then do the squared option. Paste all that in. And then change this to squared. There you go. At the start of this, let's say I want to times all that by 8. I'll just do 8 and then uh, times and put a space so I've got 8 times 23 squared divided by 45 in its own bracket plus the cube root of 245 and then all of this squared uh, sadly it doesn't work it out for us but at least it's, it's an option to uh, input it now just one note these symbols here these are actually called braces and that's for grouping terms together and whatnot that's what the code uses but they don't display as brackets on here. If you want to display brackets, just put an actual bracket symbol. So, for instance, if I wanted to put a bracket around this 45, I'd come inside of the brace, not outside, inside of the brace, and put an actual bracket. It'll come up with some gibberish at minute. It's expecting a closing bracket, so I'll just put a closing one there, and then we're back to normal. So sometimes you end up with a something that looks strange. But I found the best way to use this is an awful lot of copy and paste, copy and paste, and then edit it from there onwards. 
and you eventually start to shape something pretty good so I'll click on here to finish it don't worry about that border around this uh, frame on a print preview <coughs> that you know that's not there it's totally blank I'll close that preview this is of course scalable as well uh, that's not too attractive but you know you can then still edit it and go back and forth uh, uh, as you wish there you go oh you can uh, before I before I go you can um, just open the math uh, LibreOffice math first and edit away in there then import that in it d uh, doesn't really matter which way around you want to go um, but yeah I hope that's helped